Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions, a program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions, and individual subject matters who have masteries of this subject, chief examiners, invigilators, in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time, where a term is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D, in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence, it has committed the fallacy of what? It is either major or what? Minor. The case of Gom that migrated from Babesi because their leader had been tricked to kill all the then birth of Com, when he realized that he committed suicide and the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie Com. This is Education Today. Hello televiewers, you are welcome to yet another edition of Education Today. In Education Today, our focus will be on logic, specifically looking at terms and one other section which is translating propositions into standard or logical form. But this aspect of terms is limited to the first circle. Before we could be able to look at terms, it is important for us to justify the definition. What then could be identified as a term? A term is defined as the verbal expression of an idea. A term being defined as the verbal expression of an idea that calls for our interest to look at what an idea is. An idea then could be seen as the intellectual representation of a thing. Now, looking at the definition of a term, as the verbal expression of an idea, while an idea is the intellectual representation of a thing. This could clearly be understood if we look at the situation of a child or a teacher asking a child what this thing is. Now we could better differentiate an idea and a term from asking a child what this thing is. By the time the child starts recollecting their maybe knowledge to know what the thing is, at that point the child is manifesting their idea. But when the child opens the mouth to say it, it becomes a term. Which means if you ask a child what this thing is, and the child starts saying, wait, 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 uh-huh, I know it now. On that point, it becomes an idea. But when the child opens the mouth and says it is a piece of chalk, what does it become? A term. A term is the verbal expression of an idea. Now, looking at our focus in logic today, the first part of it is term, terms. And we've defined a term as the verbal expression of an idea, while an idea is the intellectual representation of a thing. After that clarification with a clear example we have had to see the difference between an idea and a term, we could see the two technical terms which are the subject and the predicate terms. The subject term is that about which a statement is made. Now when we talk on the subject term, it is that about which a statement is made, which means for you to identify a subject term in any given statement, you could ask yourself, about who or about what is the statement all about? What comes to your mind becomes what? The subject term. While the predicate term is the word or words that either accept or denies what the subject term is all about. For example, we could have this situation. No boys are thieves. No boys are thieves. If we're asked to bring out the subject term from this example, 
That about which the statement is made, they are talking about who or about what. That becomes the subject. In this case, the voice becomes what? The subject. While the predicate term will be the thieves. Earlier on said our focus in the class of today is centered on two things. The first part is terms, which is limited to the first circle. And with terms, we started by defining what a term is, which was seen as the verbal expression of an idea. While a term was seen, an idea was seen as the intellectual representation of a thing. A clear example to understand a term differently from an idea was the situation of asking a child what this thing is when the child recollects in his mind that becomes an idea but when the child opens the mouth to say it it, it rather becomes a term on the technical terms we have the subject term and the predicate the subject term was seen as that about which a statement is made for example, no boys are thieves. They are talking about who in that case? Boys. That becomes the subject term. While the predicate term is the word or words that either accepts or denies what the subject term is all about. In that same example, our predicate term becomes what? Thieves. Hello, televiewers. We are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be looking at the classification of what? Terms. Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subject, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence it has committed the fallacy of what? Illicit. Either major or what? Minor. The case of Com that migrated from Badesi. Because their leader had been tricked to kill all the main best of Com, when he realized that he committed suicide, and the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie. Com. This is Education Today. Televiewers, you are welcome back to the program Education Today, which is being sponsored by the Mentors Foundation. Our focus being terms. We have examined the subject and the predicate. And the next thing we'll be looking at is the classification of terms. With this classification of terms, this is the way traditional logicians have grouped words according to their logical importance. Being the way traditional logicians have grouped words according to their logical importance, we have the first group of words called the genera. We have another group called the singular or particular terms. The next is considered to be the collective terms. Next, we we'll talk about the concrete. We we'll also talk about abstract, correlative, and privative terms. These are the terms we will be looking at in our program today. The first group of terms called the genera. The general term describes that are being shared by the members of a group. We will talk about that which are being shared by the members of a group. A clear example of it is African. Another example is Cameroonian. Now, the general term being that which is being shared by the members of a group and the examples are African, Cameroonian. African originates from the group Africa. While before you become a Cameroonian, you originated from the group Cameroon. 
The next degree of terms we'll be talking about is the singular or particular term. The singular or particular term refers to a specific event or person or thing or a place. When we talk about the singular or particular term, it refers to a specific event, person or place. Clear examples of the particular or singular term could be the head of state. We could talk about Boya. We could talk about Eno and so forth. Now, why are we looking at the classification of terms? We will be able to talk on the point that they will give us a passage to bring out specific terms from that passage. And the mastery of these terms will permit us to situate the terms from their passage. We started by talking about the general term, which is that shared by the members of the group. For example, of the general term, we examine African. We talk about Cameroonian. From the example, African originated from the group Africa. Cameroonian originated from the group Cameroon. While the singular or particular term, which refers to an event, person or place, we could say the 11th of February marked the youth day in Cameroon. That is an event. While the head of state addressed the nation, you are referring to a specific word, person. Boya is identified to be a prominent town in the southwest province. Boya is what? A place. Enno made a speech identifying the common maybe persons from the mouth. Enno is considered to be the name of a person. On the point of the collective, the collective term is that which describes the members of a class considered to have been acting together. Considered to have been acting together. Describing the members of a group considered to have been acting together, you are talking about the collective term. An example of the collective term is team. We could talk about library. We talk about flock. Now, a team is a collective term because if you find yourself in a team, all of you have a common goal. A library, all the books in it are serving the same purpose. While the concrete term refers to an object or person that possess some qualities. Our focus on the classification of terms is clear. The classification of terms is based on the way traditional logicians have group words according to their logical importance. This is based on the first circle work, that is from form 3 to form 5, we started by looking at the general term, which describes, which is maybe the members of a group, which is shared by the members of a group. Examples were African, Cameroonian. While the singular or particular term is that which refers to a specific event, person or place. For example, the head of state, Boya, we talk about Eno and any maybe name of a person or referring to a place. The collective term, as I earlier on indicated, is that which describes the members of a class considered to have been acting together. For example, we have team, library and what? Flock. On the point of the concrete term, it is an object or person that obtains some quality. For example, we could talk about the chair. We could talk about a knife. We could talk about a dex. Now, we have a long, maybe a blunt knife. My knife is blunt. The word knife becomes what? Concrete because it had obtains the quality of being what? Blunt. Now when we talk about the abstract term, the abstract term 
is the quality given to an object. The quality attributed to an object. Now, talking about the quality attributed to an object, this is a beautiful shop. We may talk about a beautiful shop. A beautiful shop. The beautiful year is considered to be abstract, while the shop is what? Concrete, because it is the object that possesses the quality of what? Being beautiful. While the abstract, beautiful, is the quality given to an object. As in the formal example of the blonde knife, blonde is there abstract while the knife becomes what? Concrete. Looking at correlative terms, correlative terms are terms that are related to some common facts or principles. Related to some common facts or principles. For example, we could talk about husband and wife. We could talk about bread and butter. We could also have rice and stew. Not leaving out fufu and eru. Now, these terms are related to some common facts or principles. If you are asked to bring out a correlative term, if you have fufu and eru, they go together. They have something in common. The other one maybe expects you to, maybe they go together. On that note, we talk about correlative. A privative term, which is the last term in our maybe class of today, based on terms, will be concerned with that, which indicates the absence of an attribute. The absence of an attribute where its presence was to be expected. It indicates the absence of a quality where its presence was to be expected. For example, you talk about dumb. We talk about blind. We talk about lame. Now, the clarification of this privative term is that it is expected that as a human being, you should be able to talk. But failure, that word now becomes what? Privative. On that note, pre examples of privative terms include dumb, blind, lame, deaf, and so forth. Hello, televiewers. We are going to take a break. When we come back, we will be looking at a rundown of what we had had on terms to have some maybe questions. While maybe watching the program at home, it is important to be keen your questions on the topic terms. Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of this subject, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence it has committed the fallacy of what? It is either major or what? Minor. The case of Com that migrated from Babesi. Because their leader had been tricked to kill all the main best of Com, when he realized that he committed suicide, and the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie. Com. This is education today. Either major or minor. 
Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions, a program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners and vigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D, in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence, it has committed the fallacy of what? It is either major or what? Minor. The case of Com that migrated from Babesi because their leader had been tricked to kill all the big best of Com. When he realized that he committed suicide, and the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie. Com. This is Education Today. Tell viewers, you are welcome back to the program Education Today which is being sponsored by the Mentors Foundation. As a reminder, your questions could be sent through the number on screen. While maybe looking at the program for today, we'll be look, maybe we are focused on terms. Just a recap of what we have had on terms. I started by justifying what a term is all about. And in clear terms, we said a term is the verbal expression of an idea. The definition of a term brought in an idea. What then is an idea in itself? An idea was seen as the intellectual representation of a thing. On this part, we said we could clearly differentiate between a term and an idea by looking at the clear example of a teacher or you asking a child what this thing is. When the child reflects and settles on it, it becomes an idea. But when the child opens the mouth to say it, it instead becomes a term, which is the verbal expression of an idea. Our focus here was centered on the technical terms on what we call a term, which are the subject and the predicate terms. The subject term was seen as that which is um, that about which a statement is made, while a predicate term is that which either affirms or denies the subject them. In the example we have on the board, we said no boys are thieves. The subject term becomes boys while the predicate was seen as what? Thieves. Then what about the classification of terms? Here we said this is the way traditional logicians have group words according to their logical importance. Being a first circle program where they could ask you to identify the following terms from the past whether general, whether particular, whether collective, whether distribute, maybe collective, whether maybe we talk about abstract, correlative and privative, you need to understand them even from their examples. From the general term, we said that which are being shared by the members of their group. Examples were African, Cameroonian, even we talk about Mama. The singular or particular term refers to a specific event person or place, whatever name of a person mentioned in a passage is a particular or singular term, an event or maybe the name given to a place. The collective term on its own part is that which describes the members of a class considered to have been acting together. For example, our team, is our football team is going in for victory. The word team becomes what? Collective. The concrete term is that object or person that obtains some quality. For example, we talk about chair, car, we talk about knife. For example, I have a blonde knife. The blonde is abstract while the knife is what? Concrete. The abstract term refers to the quality given to an object. Beautiful, we talk about blonde, we talk about sharp. All these are considered to be abstract terms. The correlative term is considered to be that which are related to some common facts or principles. For example, rice and stew, fufu and eru. We we'll talk about maybe bread and butter. In that maybe respect, we are talking about the correlative terms. 
The privative term is that which indicates the absence of an attribute where its presence was to be expected. For example, it is expected that a human being could walk, but if you have a lame person, it is privative. You talk about dumb, deaf, blind, all these are privative terms. This is our first, maybe, part of our, maybe, our class for today. And our focus is centered on the first circle, where it is from three, from four, and from five work. Our program, maybe, here, is centered on what? Terms. So, as a reminder, when you maybe have a question on this, maybe, topic terms, you can send it through the number on your screen. We are going now to look at a second, maybe, aspect of logic, which will be centered on translating propositions to standard or what we call the logical form while expecting your question we'll take a break and when we come back we'll be looking at how to translate propositions to standard or what we call the logical form Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subject, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence it has committed the fallacy of what? Illicit, either major or what? Minor. The case of Pom that migrated from Babesi. Because their leader had been tricked to kill all the big best of Com, when he realized that he committed suicide, and the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie. Com. This is education today. Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence it has committed the fallacy of what? Illicit. Either major or what? Minor. The case of Pom that migrated from Babesi. Their leader had been tricked to kill all the big best of Com when he realized that he committed suicide. And the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie Com. This is Education Today. Tell everyone you are welcome back to the program Education Today, which is being sponsored by the Mentors Foundation. Our focus in our class of today was centered on terms, and the second part of it is translating propositions into standard, or what we call the logical form. This is a sensitive topic in both the maybe O and A levels, that is the first and the second circles. 
looking at translating propositions into standard or the logical form, we are going to have a reflection of what we have had on this and then this will be the completion of the topic. <clears throat> if you could both remember or if you were not chance to be there, we talk about the possibility of moving a proposition into standard or the logical form. What does it entail? We said for a proposition to move into standard or the logical form, that means the proposition is moving to the structure of either an A, E, I, and O. For it to be a, maybe in standard form, specifically a proposition, let the structure of that statement carry all A. If for it to be an A, let it carry no A. For it to be an I, then the structure, some I has to be maintained. And for it to be an O, you must have some I not, respectively following their subjects and predicate terms. A recap of the previous class. We saw how we could translate into A and E propositions, which is a summary coming in to tell us that if we are translating into any of these propositions, there are weddings that you have to key on to know the proposition to translate into. For the A proposition, as we examined in the last class, which therefore goes ahead to tell us that for these statements I'm going to give, their standard form was expected to carry all A. The first indicator was that when you have a word carrying every, each, he, who, whoever, a statement beginning with the or A, that statement must be an A proposition and your standard form must be all A. The second degree of looking at the A proposition, we talk about none except, none who are, which are also maybe to be seen in statements giving us an A proposition to put in standard form. The last degree of weddings that when we see we are translating the statement into an A proposition was only and none bet, only and non bed if you have a statement carrying only and non bed you have to move the statement to to an a proposition but the difference with only and non bed non bed was on the point that you have to interchange the subject and the predicate terms of the statements that have been given before translating the last thing we did in the last class was mm, e proposition translate propositions into an E where our structure was expected to be no A. Uh, which were the indicators? We talk about no, none, never, and what? Nothing. These statements or these weddings, and if you find any of them in a statement to be translated, no, none, never, and nothing, then your answer must give you an E proposition and your standard form will be no A. Uh. That was that in the previous class. In our class of today, our focus will be on I and O proposition, which are the statements that when we find them, our translation must be limited to I or O, which is an I proposition in the first place. An I proposition is a particular affirmative where the structure is expected to be some I. An O proposition is particularly where our structure is expected to be some are not. Since the two of them are particulars, our translation is similar. The weddings to find in their answers are similar. But the small difference is that if the statement is affirmative, if the statement is accepting, your answer will carry I with some are. But if the statement at any point in the same weddings is negative, it carries O with some are not. Tell our viewers we are going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll be looking at the proper way of translating I and O proposition. Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector 
of our secondary schools institutions, a program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions, and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners, invigilators, in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time, where a term is you up in any of the premises, and that term becomes D, in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid, and hence it has committed the fallacy of what? It is either major or what? Minor. The case of Kwam that migrated from Badesi because their leader had been tricked to kill all the baby birth of Kwam when he realized that he committed suicide. And the Kwam people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie. Kwam. This is Education Today. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome back to the program Education Today. Our focus in our class of today is centered on logic. With this episode, we have examined terms and the last part of it, we are looking at translating propositions into standard or what we call the logical form. And as uh, earlier on said, if you are moving a proposition to standard or the logical form, the standard or logical form must carry the structure of one of the propositions which are A, E, I and O. And in clear terms, the A proposition must carry all R. E proposition must always carry the structure no R. I proposition must carry the structure some R. And O proposition must carry the structure some R not, respecting their subjects and predicate terms. We have just had a recap of statements that when you find them in phrases, you identify those maybe statements to be a proposition. Technically, we said when you have a statement carrying every, each, he, who, whoever, there, beginning a statement beginning with the or a, that statement must be an a proposition. Secondly, we said when you have a statement carrying none who are, none except, let it carry maybe an a proposition also. But exceptionally, we said when you have only a non bet there will be a proposition, but when you are translating, you interchange their subjects and prayers. Decades. For the E proposition, we have technical words like no. We say no men tell lies. No men tell lies. No men tell lies. It is not E formally. It must be into standard form carrying no A. Uh. No men tell lies. You must have no A. Uh. The subject term there is men. No men are uh. those that tell lies. How do you call them? Liars. So the translation becomes no men are uh, liars. So statements carrying no, none, never, nothing are translated into an e proposition. And our focus maybe for the last aspect of it today is centered on I and O. I being a particular affirmative and the O proposition being particular negative. Now, looking at this I and O, their indicators are similar. Or, I should say they are the same. When you have a statement carrying many, most, generally, often, when you have a statement carrying any of these words, your answer could be or O. But the difference is that when the statement in itself is accepting, when the statement is affirmative, it remains I. But when it is negative, it instead becomes what? O. Because I is particular affirmative. Some are, while O is particular negative with some are not. Now, why do you just change it to some are when it is affirmative and some are not when it is negative? Many means you are talking about majority. Most, you are talking about majority. Generally, you are talking about majority and often you are talking about majority. So, if it is A, the statement remains some are, with it carrying not, it becomes some are not. For example, most oranges are sweet fruit. Most oranges are sweet fruit means majority of the oranges are sweet fruit, which will be particular affirmative. Most oranges are sweet fruit. Most are means if they were 10, 8 are sweet. Most, which means your answer 
expected to follow some ah, majority ah. So now, most oranges are sweet fruit, which was the subject term in the proposition. Oranges, predicate term, sweet fruit. So your answer becomes, some oranges are sweet fruit. Now, having the second example, many pastors do not do farm work. Many pastors do not do farm work. Many do not. Which means majority are not in the group of farming. Are not maybe partaking in what? Farming. Now, majority do not. Your answer now will still be particular. But particular word. Negative. Which is going to carry some are uh, not. And yes, them pastors. Predicate them people that do farm work. How do you call them? Farmers. Because your answer must also sound grammatically correct. You need not just maybe come and write, some pastors do not do farm work. For the statement to be oh, it must carry some are uh, not. That is why firstly, maybe classify it in that structure, situate the subject, and then look for the predicate to sound grammatically correct. Now, the difficulty with I and O where examiners depend upon is when they use the word few, for example. Now, using few, it will be particular. But where are you going to belong? Few. When the statement few is carrying A, our translation rather becomes O, which is going to follow A, not. When the statement few is carrying not, our answer rather become I, which is going to bear I. Let's take some examples. Let's say few. Few kids back. Let's say few kids. Few kids play football. Few kids play football. Now the next example we say few. Few youths, few youths do not, few youths do not dance. Now, the difficulty here is, few kids play football. We could be tempted to say it is particular affirmative to be I. No. When you say few, when the statement is few, ah, uh, that means few acts. Our answer instead becomes O with some and not, which means you are mentioning my minority. When it is not, our answer becomes ah. Uh, when it is ah, uh, our answer becomes not. So few kids play football. Few kids play football. Few are playing football, which means indirectly, according to the rule, you are going to say many do not play football. And our answer here will rather become some are not. Few kids play football. It means many of them do not. And our answer becomes some are not. And that will become some kids are not. Those that play football, how do you call them? Footballers. While few youths do not dance, few do not means many do. On that note, our answer here instead maybe becomes some youths are dancers. I repeat, our focus in the class of today is centered on translating into I or O proposition. And these indicators are one and the same thing, but in different maybe explanations. From the point that when you have many or most or generally or often in a phrase, your answer could surely become I or O because all are referring to particulars. But when you have the statement with any of such words in an affirmative nature, your answer remains I with some R. Having it in a negative nature, your answer changes to O with some R not. But having few 
which is a technical aspect to translate. When you have few, when the statement is R, your answer instead becomes some are not. When you have few are not, your answer instead becomes some are, like the examples we have had. Exceptionally for the O proposition, translating into O proposition exceptionally, there are two indicators. O proposition, as I've earlier said, is that structure carrying some are uh, not. So exceptionally for it, if you have a statement carrying all are uh, not, or not all are, uh, not all are, uh, your answer must be an O proposition. Any proposition with all are not, or not all are, to translate into standard form, you automatically move an O with some are uh, not. Imagine we say, not all girls, not all girls gossip, not all girls gossip, not all girls gossip. The moment you have not all accepting, your answer becomes O with some are uh, not. Becoming O with some not, it means some are uh, not because of not all are is a particular negative on that note we're looking at some are not while the subject term here is which word girls the predicate term becomes what gossip so you have some girls are not what gossips i know some of us back home may be tempted to say gossipers there's no english word as gossipers all oranges are not bitter fruits. All oranges are not bitter fruits. It automatically becomes some oranges are not bitter fruits. Hello, televiewers. If you are just tuning in, you are on the program Education Today. Our focus maybe today was on terms and translating propositions into standard and the logical form. I'm going to take a break, but when we come back, we'll be looking at how we could maybe still maybe justify some of these particular propositions. Our focus in the class of today is centered on what? Logic. When we come back, we'll be able to talk on the, the last aspect of propositions into standard form. <music> Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is U or in any of the premises and that term becomes D in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid and hence it has committed the fallacy of what? Illicit, either major or what? Minor. The case of Kwam that migrated from Badesi because their leader had been tricked to kill all the male birth of Kong when he realized that he committed suicide. And the Kong people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie. Kong. This is Education Today. The word is you in any of the premises that word should not be seen in the Quran. Education today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both. Televiewers, you are welcome back to the program Education Today. We are centered today on logic. Looking at our program for today, we are talking about terms and translating propositions into standard or what we call the logical form. 
we have examined other propositions that could be translated. I mean, looking at the translation, we depended in our previous class on A and E, and today we are concluding with I and O. While concluding with I and O propositions, we have examined the point that when you have many, most, generally often, they give you in any of the phrases to translate, your answer must be I or O. But at the same time, we examine the complicated issue with few. When few is asserting, when it is accepting, your answer becomes O rather. And when it is denying, your answer rather becomes what? I. And I've explained the intricacy in the word word, few. Exceptional aspect of translating that is limited only to the O proposition was centered on this aspect of a statement carrying all are not, or not all are, that statement in the standard form rather becomes some are not. Like in the case of not all girls gossip, where you have some girls are not gossips. With this maybe structure of translating into I and O proposition, the last part of this translation will be centered on hypothetical statements maybe into standard form. We will talk about hypothetical propositions that are hypothetical can also be translated into standard form. Now, hypothetical propositions into standard or the logical form hypothetical proposition a hypothetical proposition in the first place is centered on two statements in one it is a proposition that contains other propositions so related in that the truth or falsity of one depends on the truth or falsity of the other and this hypothetical proposition must always have two parts the first one is usually called the antecedent, while the second is the consequent. 